and he's going back. He's going to run down. Ball gets away. This one's over. Oh, my freaking goodness. But I got the Twins signing Carlos Correa. Jeff Passon has the Giants getting Chris Bryant. I am taking the Atlanta Braves. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. Uh, this is Eric. And good morning. I am never live this early. I just woke up uh, not too long ago. Uh, you know, I went to bed with the news that, hey, giants are close. Some places are even confirming it. Uh, yeah, there were some Twitter accounts basically saying it's a done deal and sources are saying uh, the Giants are going to sign Judge. I didn't really believe it. I didn't really believe it. Uh, I was just starting to maybe slightly think it was possible. And then I woke up to Aaron Judge in agreement with the Yankees. Nine years, $360 million, which is around what I heard uh, the Giants were offering. So um, maybe the Giants did offer a little bit more. I'm not really sure. We're going to get into all of it, whatever I can find, discussions, and uh, let me know in the chat. Giants did sign somebody yesterday, and that is Mitch Hanniger. Uh, Mitch Hanniger ain't no judge, but uh, at least we signed somebody. And, uh, you know, this could end up being uh, not a terrible thing. You know, we'll see how Aaron Judge does on this nine year deal. But um, it's not a big surprise. I mean, how we're always the favorite. Giants are always the favorites. This is, this is what? Uh, strike three. Strike one was, uh, I don't remember which came first. Okay, uh, there was a Giancarlo Stanton, who was, uh, we were favorites. I think that was first. And then uh, second, um, who was that? Bryce Harper, right? Bryce Harper was coming to San Francisco. He loves it in San Francisco. He ain't coming to San Francisco. And now Aaron Judge, strike three. So uh, let's just be honest. What's up, Logan M. Fire Farhan? What is up, Joe Boyd? The whole front, front office always screws up everything. The Giants will never get top free agents, and they will have the same record until they fire the whole front office. Logan M, hashtag fire far on. What's up, Baseballify? That's a cool name. Baseballify says, I am so happy Judge didn't go to the Giants. Dodgers Nation. Uh, Brady Domino, we need to re-sign Rodon, get one of the top shortstops. Logan M, hashtag fire. Farhan. Um, I think there's like 60 mil coming off the books next year. Our payroll will probably be less than 90 mil. Hardly committed to anything for 24 as well. Um, lots of people ready to fire Farhan. Um, but was this Farhan's fault? You can't force someone to sign where they don't want to sign. Judge wanted to stay in New York, as RK Snow says. And they matched San Francisco's offer. That's already too much for a 30-year-old. I mean, we have, what are we supposed to do? Go 10 years, 11 years? It's tough. You know, I did hear, yes, Stephen Ortega, I heard about Correa. We'll check on any updates with Correa uh, as well. Remind me uh, a little bit later. We, we cannot forget uh, to see what's going on there. But I did hear rumors that the Giants would sign both Correa and Judge. Now, clearly those rumors were wrong. So since we didn't sign Judge, I don't know about Carlos Correa. We do have Brandon Crawford coming back for another year, but I think Crawford realizes we can't be confident that he's going to be able to stay healthy and effective uh, for 162 games. But yeah, uh, Giants fans in shambles. You know, I mean, I'm personally not in shambles. I'm not even surprised. I'm not even surprised. You get your hopes up, then you get really disappointed. Hopes aren't really up. You're fine. I'm I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm surprised it happened so quickly, um, but I'm not surprised. I, I didn't think I was going to wake up to it. I thought it would be a few more days before he made his decision. But hey, Judge is going back to New York. That was even my prediction. I got that prediction in, in my predictions video. It wasn't that hard of a prediction. I'm not bragging about it because it's not that hard to figure out. Judge is going back to the Yankees at the end of the day. Uh, and everything I said pretty much happened. The Giants were involved. The Dodgers were briefly involved. And he still went back to the Yankees. So it is what it is, ladies and gents. Nine-year contract. Aaron Judge to the Yankees. Um, it's a nine-year massive $360 million deal. I'm not a mathematician, but what, what do we have here? Oh, D Porter! Happy holidays, the entire Hum Baby Baseball Show. We have $25. Thank you so much, D Porter. Oh, my goodness. 
Um, that is amazing. I was going to say uh, 325 divided by that was about, I mean, that's 35, 36 million per year. It's absolutely nuts. Uh, am, am I, maybe I'm doing my math wrong. Um, let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, three, oh, 369 years. It, it, it feels like that's uh, an insane amount per season. Let me divide. I got a calculator out. Forty million! Oh my God, is that forty million per year? Right, four ten times nine is thirty six. Holy mother of God! Uh, wow, Jiminy Christmas! Um, uh, back to the chat. Yes, D Porter, I appreciate that. Thank you so very much for that super chat. What's up, Jenny Vega? It is early for me. Early for me. I wake up around ten o'clock. Uh, <laughs> uh, I really wanted the Dodgers to sign Hanager. He's my dark force MVP. Wow, baseballify. I hope you're right on that. Uh, the team is going to be worse next season. Uh, San Francisco offered nine years, $360 million. That's not money ball. I'm not surprised. Same thing happens with Stanton Harper. Yeah, you know, uh, not a big shock. Not a big shock. But it's not the end of the world. This may have been a, been a bad signing. This may be a bad signing. Baseball, if I have Judge ever got more than five years, this was a horrible contract because it's injury history. Exactly. 250K per game. Sickening. Sickening money. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's, it's the world we live in with sports, and they, they, they deserve it because they, uh, they bring that kind of money with the fans. But, it, but you know, you know if, baseball, if baseball drops in popularity, that's, that's impossible. I mean, that's just insane. That's just insane. 250 million, I mean, 250,000 per game. I'd, I'd, I'd love to have 250,000, period, for the rest of my life. I'll be fine. Uh, I don't know about the rest of my life, but I, I think I can manage. Uh, so anyway, uh, judge to the Yankees, named 2022 American League. Oh, let me close that. American League MVP after breaking Roger Maris' single season AL home run record with 62 triple crown conversation. Uh, 131 runs driven in, uh, on base percentage of 425. The dude's stats are through the roof and, uh, the Yankees fans, I'm assuming are, uh, happy about it. But I mean, the dude judge was always going to be a Yankee. He is the, you know, kind of the next guy in line when it comes to all the, the, the legends, the Ruth. I know Ruth eventually went to the Boston Braves and and, and and was started his career with the Red Sox, but Ruth, of course, started it. You had Lou Gehrig, lifetime Yankee, Mickey Mantle, lifetime Yankee, Joe DiMaggio, lifetime Yankee, um, Derek Jeter, lifetime Yankee, um, um, Don Mattingly, you know, uh, pretty sure he was a lifetime Yankee. And then you have Aaron Judge. He ain't going nowhere, let's just be honest. Um, but the Giants did sign somebody, and that is Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger, welcome to San Francisco. Everyone was excited yesterday. We thought we were going to have, what, a Hanniger judge at both in the outfield. As soon as they signed Hanniger, I was like, uh-oh. But the, the rumors then started really going that the Giants were also uh, going to announce judge. Here's grumpy San Francisco Giants fan. Yeah, I love this guy. Now announce judge. Hanniger did hit 39 bombs in, in 2021. Um, Look, man, it's it's not – we don't know how he's going to do in San Francisco. We have signed guys who have hit this kind of – this. you know, we remember when we brought over um, my man, uh, Longoria. Longoria is great and everything, but has he ever been – you know, he was a, an all-star, big-time home run hitter earlier in his career with the Rays. Never really happened here. He's a nice player. He'll hit some home runs from time to time, and I think that's what Mitch Hander is going to – I don't think Mitch Hander is going to go hit – 39, 40 home runs with the Giants. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But hey, it's nice. We got to make more moves. It's nice. What's the contract on Hanniger? To be honest, I, 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 I'm not totally prepared because it happened so quick this morning. I just kind of went live. So we're going to kind of wing it here. But uh, okay, three year. Okay, isn't this a little bit nicer? Three year, forty three point five million dollars. Certainly, yes. He's not a he's not judge, but he doesn't get a judge in contract either. Three years, forty three point five million. If a guy's terrible or or not do, producing, he's only here for three years. Forty three point five mil. So there you have it. <laughs> That's pretty much judge's yearly salary. We got Mitch Hanniger for judge, and I'm not saying I don't, want, I don't want to be cheap. We need to add more. I'm just saying. Maybe this is the route to go. Um, judge may regret this decision 
Um, Hanniger is a very definition of a local guy. So if it was you and us in the race, then we know the outcome. What's up, Joe Boyd? Sebastian Gonzalez. Uh, Hanniger is a nice piece to add to the rotation. Now, we have money. We still got a ton of money. If you got 30K by the end of this year, you have to buy that Grinch sweater. I saw that Grinch sweater. I did. I did. I did. I did. I do have this t-shirt right here. I don't know what you guys think of this here. You can recognize this dude. Who in the chat knows who this is right here on my t-shirt? Okay. Classic baseball player. Okay. You guys know that baseball card when you see it, right? The most expensive baseball card in existence. I couldn't afford a card, so I got a t-shirt instead. Um, uh, I could probably afford like a, uh, a reprint. Uh, what's up here? Uh, Joe Boyd, the Giants won't get anyone of importance to help this team, says Joe Boyd. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what what we're gonna get. I mean, let's let's dig deeper into into Mitch Hanniger. Um, I, I, whoops, I think I hit the wrong. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. We're on Google. Mitch Hanniger. Can we see Mitch Hanniger? Can we see his stats or something? Oh, baseball reference. An ad might go off like crap. baseball reference. Been really irritating me with these ads lately. So just be prepared for crazy noise to happen. Uh, but anyway, uh, okay, so Mitch Hanniger is a local dude. He went to high school in San Jose. He went to Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo. Drafted in the first round. Um, ended up, of course, with the Mariners. He's played in Visalia. I believe he's played in Modesto, I thought. No? No, I'm thinking of someone else. Oh, no, yeah, there he is, Modesto, 2019. Yeah, he played in Modesto. Of course, very briefly, though. Um, and with the Mariners, uh, okay, 2021, 253 batting average, 39 home runs, 100 runs driven in, the strikeout rate, 169. He will strike out for sure. This year, uh, 246 with 11 home runs. Uh, he had a big injury issues. Brian Chua, what is going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for jumping in. Sometimes the best moves are the ones you never make. That happened to the Red Sox with the failed A-Rod trade. They added a lot of depth to their roster. That's what I would do if I'm far on. Oh, yeah, we can go crazy right here. We got to get quality, quality players. Honus Wagner's Bay. That's This is who this is. Honus Wagner, correct. Honus Wagner's baseball card is, a, uh, is worth uh, more than Wagner earned playing baseball. Oh, he's not even close. Not even close. Yes, Honus Wagner. Logan knows. Baseballify knows. Sebastian Gonzalez knows. Eric Sully knows. Um, Eric, are you surprised Dodgers haven't signed anybody? Yeah, a little bit. There is another signing to talk about, which I didn't even uh, put in the title, but that is uh, we'll, we'll jump out all the free agents, but obviously Trey Turner is another one. And uh, Trey Turner uh, still says he's a free agent, but uh, I heard that Turner uh, signed, uh, but I'm not seeing it here. Why am I not seeing it? Yeah, here it is. Uh, one day ago, a source Phillies and Trey Turner reach 11 year, $300 million deal. Holy Moses. Um, so apparently, Trey Turner is heading to the Phillies. The Phillies need a shortstop. And wow, they got it. They got it. I thought the Dodgers would re sign him, but we'll see what the Dodgers do and who they sign. The Dodgers are a team that usually will sign whoever they want. So um, I'm a little bit surprised they haven't signed anybody. But um, Trey Turner. Comes from the simple fact that the competition for Trey Turner was immense. The San Diego Padres. Yeah. And that's a massive deal too. I mean, you, I don't. I'm not a huge fan of ten year, eleven year deals. I mean, that's 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 insane. This is these are athletes. They don't they they age. They get hurt. Uh, we're not hiring a computer programmer or something. Okay, we're we're hiring athletes. And I don't know, man. I mean, especially if they've had injury history. Now Trey Turner has not had an injury history like uh, obviously like uh, Judge has. So uh, that could be. Uh, that could be good for the Phillies. And, of course, Mitch Hanniger is just a three-year deal. He has had some injury problems, but it's just a three-year deal. Let's just hope for the best here with uh, with Mr. Hanniger. Back to the chat. 
Uh, thank you again, Brian Chua. That is amazing. I appreciate it so very much. There will be a new documentary coming out today. I had it scheduled for this morning, but I, I, I delayed it a little bit so I can go live. I didn't want it to come out during this live stream. There's another documentary coming out right after I, right after this stream, basically it should be coming live very shortly after this stream on, uh, you guys, uh, my members voted for it. My members voted for it. So it'll be the top most lopsided trades in in MLB history. John Heyman is not welcome in San Francisco. Tyler Burbeck. Uh, oh, yeah. John Heyman with the false news. Oh, yeah. I, I, I still didn't believe it. I still didn't believe it. I was like, no way. Uh, he saw another a news report, which they probably deleted that tweet. Uh, I can't remember who it was. Um, iSports or something. Uh, give me one second. Um, I, I talk studios because yeah, I talk studios. Yeah. John Amos giants say they have not heard on Aaron judge. My apologies for jumping the gun. Gotta be first. Don't you gotta be first, but I talk studios. Um, said that they didn't, I don't remember if I can find the tweet. I don't know if I can find even the account. I don't know why it's not coming up, but I don't think they said it's confirmed, but they said, you know, they had a source. Here it is. Source, Aaron Judge is accepting the San Francisco Giants offer. Uh, yeah, this tweet has been deleted. So here is the original tweet right here from iTalk Studios. Aaron Judge, I didn't buy it for a second. You're just trying to be first and your stupid source sucks. Uh, there you have it. So uh, <laughs> I never, I, I, I didn't believe it. I almost went live last night. I almost put out something last night. And I was like, you know what? Let me wait till the morning. Let me wait till the morning and see what's going on because I, I don't think it's going to even happen. Uh, what's up, Marvin Cook? Well, this sucks. Didn't get any players. I thought we would get no Judge Turner or Bellinger. Well, Bellinger, uh, yeah. Um, Brian, Brian, Lethal Rage, TLC Gaming. We got Arson, not Aaron. Go Giants. I saw Arson Judge was, uh, was uh, trending. I'm not shocked with LA being quiet at the moment. They have four committed to the rotation and then Outman to play center field. Lux at I was just watching Outman's video yesterday of his, of his first major league at bat and he had a home run. That was a really cool moment, even as a Giants fan, I can admit that. Uh, John Boy and Trevor said the day before this tweet, never trust any of John Heyman. No, just want to be first. Got to be first. But I kind of want to go through all the free agents that are out there. Um, look, Mitch Hanniger, it's a nice signing. I'm happy about that. Jock Peterson, Mitch Hanniger. Um, the offseason has started fine. This is kind of what I wanted to happen. I didn't want to throw all our eggs in one basket. And we'll see what the judge contract. The judge contract is not going to be just perfect. There's going to be some problems throughout this nine-year deal. I'm almost... You can almost bet on it that it, he's going to go on the IL. Uh, he's just going to. It's going to happen at some point. If he doesn't, then these dudes, are, dudes, a machine. And I don't know how, why he couldn't stay healthy in his twenties if he can stay healthy in his thirties. But he's going to go on the IL. It's just how much is he going to go on the IL? How how often he's going to stay hurt? And how effective is he going to be? We'll see. You're really signing for the first half of that because the second half is just you're hoping for the best if you're the Yankees. But geez, man. He is a wealthy, rich dude. Uh, so is pretty much every uh, regular MLB player. I mean, forty-three point five million is not too not too shabby uh, either for Mitch Haniger. Um, let's go to a like free agent M uh, if I can free free agent tracker or something of that nature. Can we do that and just see what we have? So. Holy cow. Aaron Judge back to the Yankees. Nine years, $360 million. Trey Turner to the Phillies. $300 million for 11 years. Uh, Jacob deGrom has signed with the Rangers. I talked about that. Five years, $185 million because he's a little bit older, but still nice. Edwin Diaz back to the Mets. Justin Verlander. To the Mets, a uh, 39 year old signed a two year deal, $86 million. Uh, Taiwan Walker to the Phillies, Jameson Tyon to the Cubs, Jose Abreu talked about that earlier to the Astros, Suarez to the uh, 
um, Padres, and all the way down here, this is by money. This is ranked by overall money. Then finally, Mitch Haniger. It's not a bad deal. $43 million is a lot, but, I mean, we paid less than uh, Jose Abreu got overall. Okay? He got three years, 58. We got Haniger three years, 43. Abreu is a little bit better, probably, at least traditionally, but Zach Eflin signed with the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Rizzo back to New York, Tyler Anderson to the Angels, just to recap, Montero to the Astros, Josh Bell to the Cleveland Indians, I had him coming to the Giants, that's out, Kenley Jansen to the Boston Red Sox, a lot of guys are signing, Kershaw back to the Dodgers, and uh, Peterson back to the Giants. Um, so Cody Bellinger, uh, we heard about Cody Bellinger, so I, can't, I can't cover it all, we're just kind of jumping through him here, but Bellinger reportedly has signed with the Chicago Cubs. I wouldn't be overly excited, but it's a one-year $17.5 million deal. Honestly, I think that's too much. The guy's just terrible at times, and it seems that most times lately. Um, let me know what you guys think of this deal right here. $17.5 million. Get this thing out of my face. $17.5 million for Cody Bellinger. I have to see what Cubs fans are saying. I, I I have to see what Cub fans are saying because if I'm a Cubs fan, I'm like you have to be kidding me. Um, the the deals are just dropping. The hot stove is getting suddenly really heated up here. I talk studios. Yes, Nimmo, Rodon, and a relief pitcher maybe Correa, Mark Hoffman. Breaking news: Wilson Contreras five year deal to the car. We got some breaking news. Holy Moses! Five you guys are all over it. Uh, five years, 87.5 million Contreras, Wilson Contreras to the Cardinals. Didn't I have that prediction? Isn't that what I predicted or am I, am I tripping? I was told a moron. I thought I could be wrong on that. Uh, we have too many quadruple A players. Giants going to be mediocre again. I'll make a video on that one. If it, especially if I, 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 I know someone will confirm for me. Didn't, didn't I predict that? I can check on it right now, actually, cause I wrote an article on it. I do have a website, humbabybaseball.com. Um, you can see there, it has um, articles, documentaries with accompanying videos. Uh, it does have my podcast here, it has my YouTube channel embedded, uh, my Twitter account embedded. So all my stuff is embedded. Um, and where is my prediction? There's my predictions right here. And we're talking about Contreras. St. Louis Cardinals prediction. St. Louis Cardinals prediction. I did damn pretty damn well on my predictions this year, better than usual. Um, got that one right. Cody Bellinger is taking the jock. Peter. All right, uh, I have some trouble with the stream. I'm not sure what you guys, uh, yeah, I'm having some technical difficulties here all of a sudden. I don't know, my internet's just dropping out. So testing, test. All right, we're gonna bounce out of here, ladies and gentlemen. That's it, ladies and gents. The Giants have failed to sign Aaron Judge. I'm not shocked at all. Uh, he has gone to back to the Yankees. Got that prediction right. Contreras, prediction correct. Uh, all predictions, not all, but a lot of predictions have been correct. Thank you guys so much for your great support. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. I think the deal with uh, uh, Bellinger is terrible. We went through most of the free agent signings so far, and we're going to go through more. Look for another stream, maybe an Orange Friday day after tomorrow. Uh, have a great day. Congratulations, Yankees. Yankees fans, I would I would say congratulations, Cubs fans, but I'm not so sure that that, uh, that, that was a great signing. But best of luck with Bellinger. Great guy. Uh, I hope the dude figures something out. Have a great day, and we will talk to y'all next time. He is stopping. He's going back. He's going to run down. Ball gets away. This one's over. Oh, my freaking goodness. But I got the Twins signing Carlos Correa. Jeff Passon has the Giants getting Chris Bryant. I am taking the Atlanta Braves.